Well, it's a story that News 10 has been following for over a year now. Andrew Gibson, the suspect in the drunk driving crash that killed one Westerlo mother, finally cut in custody after jumping bail. Today, state police have arrested another person in connection with his alleged bail jumping. News 10 ABC's Harrison Grupp has the very latest. Days after Andrew Gibson was captured in Rensselaer County, another arrest was made yesterday. She had knowledge that, she, that uh, Mr. Gibson was a fugitive and uh, wanted in connection with aggravated vehicular homicide. State police arresting the woman Gibson had apparently been staying with for months after he was a no-show to his February sentencing. We are withholding her name at this time as she's an alleged domestic violence victim of Gibson. She faces a second degree charge of hindering prosecution, a felony. The information I was supplied uh, was that she knew about this and assisted him with um, staying away from police. Police responded to her home in the town of Nassau this weekend for that alleged domestic incident, a situation that ultimately led to Gibson's arrest. Albany County Grand Jury handed up a two count indictment. Following his capture, he was charged with felony bail jumping. We got a dangerous person off the road. Um, he's known to drive drunk. Uh, he had major issues with alcohol and um, also was uh, violent with women as well. Gibson was back in court yesterday, pleading not guilty to those charges. The appearance came over six months after the 43-year-old was to be sentenced for a fatal 2021 DWI crash in Westerlo. He had pleaded guilty to aggravated vehicular homicide as a driver who killed 55-year-old Lisa Sperry, a devoted wife and mother of four boys. They were relieved. Um, I don't believe they were relieved of, of the uh, situation, but they were relieved that he had been caught and he's going to be behind bars thinking about what he did to the family and how he affected the community in the hill towns. Gibson could face a longer sentence than he previously agreed to if he's deemed a persistent felon. The woman who was arrested yesterday will be arraigned right here at Nassau Town Court on August 24th. State police say this is an ongoing investigation and more arrests are possible in the future. Reporting in Nassau, Harrison Grubb News 10, ABC.